What is going on guys? Rewinds here and in this video we are going to be talking about the Borto anime as well as its return. So, I want to start off by saying, yes, I have seen the comments. I've gotten so many comments in the last few months since the Boruto anime has been on hiatus about, hey Rewinds, when will it return? Any word on the Boruto anime yet? Is Boruto really coming back in October? I've been hearing so many of these same comments for a while now and... I've really been meaning to make a video on the anime for a little bit now, but I did want to gather some information up before I started talking about it. So um, here I am, and uh, let me tell you what I know. So number one, the main thing if you guys haven't heard yet, there is no confirmed date for the Boruto anime's return. and. So I want you guys to know that so you guys aren't believing these rumors about, oh, Boruto's coming back in October for sure, or, oh, Boruto's for sure coming back January 2024. We don't really know that for a fact. All we have right now is rumors, and there's been a few different rumors because there's a bunch of different leakers, so we don't really know who's saying the truth and who's saying something, you know, just random. So pretty much... Um, I'm going to talk about a few rumors I've heard for the anime, and if these do turn out to be true, um, these could be some pretty cool things. So I am going to address a few questions and talk about a few rumors. First thing, one of the big rumors right now going on is that Boruto's rumored return is said to be sometime in 2024. I know that's really vague, but that's the rumor, and of course anybody can just say that. And just get lucky by saying that. But um, I've been hearing more mid to early 2024. Although I don't know how true that is. And I've also heard that at the rate we're going right now. It may be unlikely that we get the Boruto anime back in 2023. But again, I could be wrong about that. The people online that are leaking this stuff could be wrong too. We could really get it this year. But um, I feel like. If we were getting it back this year, maybe we would have had a scoop again by now by a, a really reliable leaker saying, oh, I have, I know that Boruto is going to be coming back in 2023. So we would have at least known that. As for behind the scenes, um, plans change quite often. So maybe that's why it wouldn't be back in 2023. Because if you guys do remember, um, one of the most reliable... Um, Boruto uh, sources on Twitter, one of the actual Boruto anime writers, uh, Mr. Honda, he actually said himself that the break was likely going to be three months or a couple months somewhere in the realm of the animators and everybody in the staff requesting like six months-ish, but uh, they thought it was going to be three months. But here we are now, and the Boruto anime has been off air for that time and, you know, no announcement yet for a return. So maybe we are going to get to six months, and if that's the case, that's where people's guess comes for October of Boruto returning then. So I can see why some people are guessing that, but don't be surprised if it's delayed a bit more further, just so they can, you know, kind of get their staff together. Um, I mean, they got three big name projects they're working on uh, pretty much at all times, if you think about it. Um, they're really, really trying to put in a lot of effort right now on Bleach, which... I'm sure Bleach fans can appreciate. I know I appreciate it. And um, they're trying to give it, you know, the best animation and love they can right now. Because Bleach has been off air for so long. And they're trying to give it a proper ending because it's been one of their most successful titles. So, um, a lot of the focus is on Bleach. There was also a recent focus on the Black Clover movie. Which, by the way, turned out to be produced really great if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, they definitely snapped on that too in terms of the production and, and in general it was a pretty good movie as well. But um, yeah, so those were their two focuses. Now there's a leak that came out recently about Black Clover's anime returning in 2024. So that makes things interesting because if Black Clover and Boruto both return in 2024 and they still have Bleach going on with its four cores, uh, I think there's going to be two more left after this one. So... Uh, it's going to be kind of chaotic if everything is back at once, and um, I don't know how good Boruto is going to be looking if that's the case. So if I'm a Boruto fan, 
I'm hoping that they bring it out a little bit later rather than sooner just because we want it to be animated great and it also will give the manga more time to get ahead. So that's kind of my take on that. The next thing is will this anime be weekly or seasonal? So me personally I would love for it to be seasonal. I would love for them to drop cores kind of how Bleach is doing just because that would be you know the best way for us to get the anime in terms of animation quality as well as pacing um, we'd get overall less anime canon as well as like these one-off fillers I think those would be gone for good if we had um, seasonal episodes for Boruto or even if they don't want to make it completely seasonal like the 12 episode format they could always go the route of just doing Boruto kind of how My Hero Academia does their show where they'll have their season that's like about 24 to 26 episodes for the year and that'll be their season so Boruto could go for a longer season and that would still be better than the weekly overall just because there'd be less filler better pacing and better animation so um, I'm hoping whenever Boruto returns in, in the anime format for part two whether it's you know, actually called Boruto uh, Two Blue Vortex, like the new manga name, or whether we're gonna have it as a different name in the anime, whatever they decide to call it. I'm just hoping that uh, it's produced really well and that the manga stuff we're getting uh, gets some justice done. Now, another little side thing, I'm sure some people are wondering. Um, I know I was wondering this myself, and I, so I wanted to discuss this, but. The Minato one-shot that came out recently, some people are wondering if it's ever going to be animated. I think there's three answers, or well, three ways it can be animated. One, they're just going to do an OVA at some point, whenever they feel like it or get time, which I'd be cool with. I'm sure a lot of other people would be too. Second way is if like this Naruto anime that's coming out soon, which is supposed to be four episodes, which by the way, another reason probably why um, the Boruto anime's return hasn't been announced yet, because they're also focusing on that. But um, maybe when this Naruto anime comes out for these four episodes, it's possible that maybe one of the episodes will be focused on the one shot. So that's always a possibility as well. And then aside from that, the third possibility is that maybe we'll have some sort of scene where maybe Sasuke is talking to Boruto or maybe we'll have some scene where Naruto is talking to Boruto sometime uh in the anime before you know that event happens uh if you know you know but if naruto's talking to him and maybe telling him about minato we could maybe get a flashback there and naruto could learn a little bit about minato like that and we could get that one shot animated in probably one good episode and um yeah that's how i think they'd handle that now as for arcs so what arc will boruto start off with in this part two of its anime so a big rumor by someone on twitter named kev he's someone that has done boruto leaks in the past and i've heard a lot of people say he's reliable but i've also been seeing more recently a lot of people saying that he's a fraud so i don't know what to believe on that so i'm just going to report it as a rumor so a rumor is that we are actually and it actually makes sense which is why i'm, I'm reporting on this but the first arc will likely be an arc that leads to Sarada unlocking her third Tomoe. And if she unlocks that, which, you know, in the anime she has two right now, whereas in the manga she had three by that Boro fight, uh, the fact that she is going to get her third one um, means that, yeah, likely we are going to have to have an arc, especially because her eyes, if you guys know, um, spoiler alert, in three two one her eyes get awakened to the next level in the manga so makes sense that they gotta get to that third tomoe soon so i don't know exactly how they plan on handling that but we could get a anime canon arc at the start i'm not expecting anything t terribly long it's likely honestly going to be that arc where boruto's team is told to go retrieve like um ida and daemon to be honest that's what I think it's going to be. So uh, that's what I'm expecting. And then after that, we're likely going to transition into that more chapter 68, 69 territory. And then that'll lead us through that whole arc, likely from start to finish. 
So we'll probably start off with a bit of anime canon mixed in with some manga canon and then probably full shot through uh, manga canon to the point where we are right now up to that chapter 80 realm. So that's what I think they're going to do. So another rumor is that the time skip won't happen until at least 6 to 12 months into the anime's return if not more. And you know honestly this depends in general because we don't know when we're getting like the big time skip in the manga. We have a time skip design that came out but there are some possible rumors and some predictions including my own that we may get a mini time skip showing Boruto and Sasuke more so uh, on the run right now rather than us going straight into the big time skip. So um, that's something to look out for but 6 to 12 months is a long bit of time of course but they got to keep stuff going and um, the last thing I have to talk about in terms of rumors is that the big time skip won't happen for that many months because there is word that after the manga content that we may get an anime canon arc that may go on for 40 episodes and this is also reported by Kev um, that will focus heavily on both Borto and Sasuke on the run as well as their encounters and training and honestly this is a great idea I don't know about 40 episodes but it's a great idea to show like the stuff that happens in between as long as it's executed right which I don't know if it will be because we've had some anime canon arcs with some iffy moments but also some great moments so we could get a little bit of a combo of both but I do hope the manga at least touches up on some of this you know more more of them on the run and some of their encounters and training and um yeah, we're going to be pretty much going from there. I'm really, really just hoping that uh, however they decide to pace this anime, whether it's weekly or seasonal, um, that they end up doing the best they can for it, of course, and that uh, Boruto comes back with the vengeance because it'd be awesome if part two comes in and blows part one completely out of the water. I got a feeling story-wise it's going to do that for sure, but um, in terms of... The animation end and the pacing end and like how they balance their anime canon and their manga content you know that's going to depend a lot on them and how they format it but that's pretty much it for all of the Borto anime return rumors right now let me know what you thought in the comments below I know there's a lot of you know talk going on right now and not enough confirmation but I mean this is what we got for now let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. As always, I hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.